hey this is a project that uses ara web library to capture session from front end and create a let's you create a live interaction product like service bell or uh, a crow browsing platform like cohere uh, what it essentially lets you do is uh, add a tracking snippet on your front end and on the product side you can directly see how users are using your product unlike other session replay platforms it doesn't really record anything but lets you directly have a live view of your users directly and on the top of that you can add other functionalities like uh, voice calls or with full fledged video calls in order to um, move forward from the from this uh, live session uh, just to give you a quick demo of how this works is um, once you clone this repository you'll have uh, three repos one is the server it's based on websocket it's a real time server that you need to start so i'll quickly start the server i'll do npm start and make sure you have installed all the uh, all the dependencies let me just clear this thing i'll go to the server folder and i'll do uh, if you have if you're starting this for first time you will have to do this npm install i've already done it so i'll start the server now the socket server has started now another thing that you want to do is there are two separate uh, html websites one is repair that lets you see how your users are using your website uh, i'll directly uh, launch this website as well so let me do this thing so i've opened this this is the live replay where i can see how users are using the product um i'll also open the actual code so this is the replayer and now you also have a dummy html page uh, which already has a tracking snippet that you can uh, use for demo purpose so i'll just open this website as well so i'll just drag and drop right um one thing to remember is that uh this is the tracking snippet that actually start sending data on your client website so if you have a landing page uh, or something that you want to track you'll add this this thing uh make sure this is the server url in my case i've hosted locally uh, by default it start, runs on local host 3000 so this is the url i'll put if you have hosted it on heroku or something you'll have a url full fledged url um and this is basically a api key or token that you use to uniquely identify your website this should be same here on your client website and on the replayer right so make sure these two things are same here on the client website and here on the on the replayer this thing should be same and also the server url should be same once you have done it let's see what will happen i'll open this example website on a separate tab okay and this is where i can see now this has a sample uh, html form now what you can see already is uh, as soon as i change width of this window you can see i can see what's happening on the client side directly here right on this window i'll for example i'll type anything hello yeah this is working right uh, if i submit it i go back the session is still resumed right i can see how my cursor is moving what i'm clicking right you can also see clicks you can see these things so this is what it does uh this is only designed for a single user but i'm planning to extend this platform and actually have a firebase based uh, login and sign up so you can just uh add this snippet on any website you can log into the platform and you can directly start seeing your users uh, for this example it, it will only work for a single website so you'll have to host three things separately so hope this helps uh if you want to contribute feel free to create pull request and issues